Welcome back to Recursed with Brian. And we were making very slow progress in the last tapestry continued. And so last time, I guess I saw Submerge. So let's take a look at Drop. Oh boy, everything's enchanted these days. Okay, so we got a cauldron to the red world, which brings us up here on top for some reason. So we have a unenchanted cauldron back to the blue world. And in the red world, we have a room. Oh, with the exit right there. I'm so close. <laughs> and just because I got to know what's down here. Oh, just the room itself. Um, but there's no way back. Interesting. So I'm probably going to have to bring another box so I can bring that box into that box or something. Okay. And then meanwhile, over here in the blue world, we have an enchanted chest, which is just a storage room. Interesting. And this can only live in one place. All right. And was there anything else? Or have I seen everything? I guess I have seen everything. This is also it's the only top level chest, but I could also bring the exit room into the blue world. Okay, but this is interesting. I need to gain height. And the only objects I have available to me to gain height are the cauldrons. So this suggests that I will need to bring the cauldron, both cauldrons into the room. So... Right, and that is going to not be easy, I think. I have an idea of how to do it, maybe. Yeah, and I don't know what I'm going to use this for just yet. Um, but I might as well bring it into the room as well. Oh, but I don't have access to the other cauldron when I do this. Yeah, I do, because I can get to the other cauldron from that cauldron. However, once I do, then I don't have access to the room. Unless I bring the room back over, which I can still do. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into the exit room. I'm going to drop this off. I'm going to... Hmm. I can't drop that off in the exit room, but I could drop this off in the storage room and bring the storage room along with me or something. Um, give me a minute. So let me just illustrate the problem right now. If I drop this off in here, uh, I need this box because right now this is my only box to the exit room that I have. There's another one, but it's way down there. Uh, oh, there's another one, but it's way down there. Okay, let's let's imagine that that oops that that could help me. Once again, there's only one interaction button in this game, and so I meant to throw this, uh, but instead ended up going to the exit. What if I throw all this stuff down here? So now I have a chest of the exit room, I have a cauldron, I have the enchanted chest of the storage room, and I have this, which means I could take this box, which also goes to the exit room, and bring this into it, and the enchanted items are still here as well. So now I have all of the items here. And the next thing I would like to test is if I jump through here. Ah, this goes to the red. Okay, so I went the wrong way. And now I can't jump back out. Okay, so now I'm stuck. Um, but I see something else that I could do. Uh, which is pretty much that same set of actions to start things off. I still don't think this is right. This will at least get me closer. Uh, so basically, I'm going to put the cauldron in here. And sure, let's even throw it down there, since that's what I'm about to do with it. And the enchanted chest. I can throw down there. And then I want to take a copy of the exit room over here, so that I can bring this cauldron into it. And yeah, then nothing is going to be up here. So I wanted to leave the original cauldron up here is what I wanted to do. Okay, one more time. Um... 
Right. I need to go grab a copy of the exit room. So we're going to get all the objects in here. And we're going to have the cauldrons in the correct locations. Um, right. This can be thrown down. That's fine. This is going to stay on top. And then I'm going to go over here, except for I'm going to go over here with a copy. Oh, I can't get a copy of the exit room. Yeah, that's my problem. The copy of the exit room is down there, but I need to bring it into the Red World. Oh, that's still okay. I can bring the cauldron back to the top from the bottom. I hadn't thought about that. So what I can do is I can drop this down. So this is exactly what I did before. I can drop this down. I can take a copy of this and uh, bring this into it. And then if I want to get the other cauldron back up on top, I can do it simply by going a level deeper, leaving this cauldron on top and popping back out. Okay, so now I should be able to hop up there through this cauldron. Yes. Except when I do so, I'm in a world without the copy. Um, does that matter? I think so. So what if I take the copy with me? If I do that, I could leave a copy of the world here. But I don't know that that helps me. And then I've got the storage box as well, which I really am not sure what I should be doing anything with. Hmm, let's not bring this along just yet. Let's instead... Let's bring the storage box up top. And then let's... I need to hop through the cauldron. Wait a minute. What if... What if I do this? Oops! <sighs> you accidentally do the wrong action and everything gets broken. Um, yeah, I just lost the other cauldron. Okay, let me get back into that state. Okay, I'm back to here. And so now what I was thinking is what if I go into the enchanted storage room chest and then go over to Blue Universe. And then what? I can pop in Blue Universe now because there's no state to lose. And I think that will bring me to the bottom. No, it brings me here. So maybe I should have gone a level deeper into Blue Universe. There's another chest there now, though, and that is useful to me, I think. Uh, right, because now I can bring the enchanted chest up to the top, which means now if I go back over to Red Universe, or I could just... Hmm. Yeah, if I go back over to Red Universe... And now pop out of the enchanted chest. I will be up top. Which is good. Oh, there's a ledge over there on the right. I hadn't seen how any of this was going to work until now. Okay, so... That takes me to Blue Universe. And so what I want to do is go over to Blue Universe. Oh, but I only have the one cauldron. So I'm in the wrong universe to do all of this right now. Because I want to... No, if I throw the Enchanted Cauldron... Yeah, that's still good. So I could throw the Enchanted Cauldron over there. I could throw that over there. Can I also get a copy of the world in case I need that from somewhere? Let me figure out if from here I can get a copy of the world. Um... I think yes. Somehow. Yeah, because I can put this back in the storage. So it's safe and sound inside storage. No, it's not. Nothing is ever safe and sound inside storage. What am I doing? 
<laughs> that was an unenchanted object, you fool. Uh, I could only be safe and sound inside the uh, opposite color world. Um, okay, so once more, let me get set back up to how I was. Okay, as I've been working through this, I think one of my priorities is to find a way to get another copy of this chest, because I feel like I need one in both worlds. And I think there is a way to do so. Um, what is it exactly? So basically, over in... Oops, that takes me nowhere. Over in Blue Universe, I don't have that thing right now. Um, and if I go level deeper, there will be another one. Um, but then I can't pop back out, so what I need to do is... Yeah, okay, this cauldron is safe over here, and so that allows me to go a level deeper and grab a copy of this to bring back out. Um, and then if I could pop out on Blue Universe side, uh, right, which could be done, could that be done? I want to pop on Blue Universe side, and so in order to do that, oops, uh, in order to do that, yeah, I just need to move the cauldron. Okay, so if I move the persistent cauldron up top and then go to Blue Universe, uh, no, there isn't a chest here. Oh no, because I wanted to pop, and so I think I'm going to throw this back down for the moment, and I'm going to pop. Yeah, okay, so now I have a chest on Blue Universe side, and I have a chest on Red Universe side. I think that's the first thing I needed to do. So now, I want to start moving all of these objects upward, I believe. And so, I can move that upward very easily. I can move that upward very easily. I can move this copy upward by bringing it to the other universe. And then... Can I move that copy upward by bringing it to the other universe somehow or something? Or get a fresh copy now or something? Because uh, my other cauldron is safe over in Red Universe. But the other cauldron is kind of essential for hopping back and forth. Yeah, so it seems like Red Universe might be the only place that I can make upward progress. Because I have both cauldrons available here. And only the cauldron for getting back available here. And I still haven't figured out what to put in the persistent chest. Well, obviously the only thing that I could put in the persistent chest... Uh, temporarily is the cauldron. Do I see a way that that could help me? The persistent cauldron. I'm not sure that I do. Right, and so I need to bring... Yeah, let's bring this back. Because I can use this in the red universe to get the, this cauldron up top. And so now... This cauldron goes over here. Yeah, it seems like I want the... I want to jump into the persistent chest at some point. And then jump into the cauldron. And then jump back out of the cauldron and jump back out of the persistent chest, possibly, for the last two thingies. For the last two steps. And so... What universe do I need to be in? Um, I could pop out of the cauldron right now. 
Uh, but I need to find a point where I can also pop out of the chest. So let's see. If I threw the cauldron to the right-hand side... And... Then jumped. I would be on the right-hand side in Blue World. What about the chest? I could throw the cauldron and the chest. Jump into Blue World. And I would be with the cauldron and the chest on the right-hand side. If I were to jump into the chest... Right, there's nothing in the chest. And the only thing I could leave in the chest that's still going to be there in the future is the Persistent Cauldron. So I think at some point I need to put the Persistent Cauldron into the chest. And in fact, this is not particularly dangerous for me to do, so let me just experiment. I can do this... Oh! I got into another Paradox world, it seems. <laughs> Darn. Uh, that means I lost my progress and I'm going to lose my train of thought. But while we're here, let's check out this crazy Paradox world. Which has a red sunny icon thingy. And uh, we can create boxes, apparently. So let's create an extra box. Sure. Is that going to help me? Um, not particularly. Because how am I going to get up there? I would need to create more boxes. And this room's just going to reset, because that's how rooms work. Um... Yeah, I don't understand all these weird paradox rooms. And perhaps it'll become more clear later on. Um... But, like, there's nothing else I can do in here, right? I mean, I can jump up here. Or if I had a third block, I could jump up here carrying the block. Um, but even with that, I would never be able to make this jump. And, yeah, I need to, like, bring, like, an air current thingy into here or something crazy. I wonder if I'm going to need to do that. I wonder if I'm going to need to bring... That's interesting. Could I bring, like, a box that contains, like, the entirety of a puzzle world from another world into one of these paradox places and then pull out, like, all of the, you know, crazy, like, box-producing worlds and things that were in those worlds and use them to solve the paradox like this kind of thing? I think that's actually the implication now that I'm thinking through it. Um, yeah, but in any case, I appear to just be stuck. Okay, that was interesting. Uh, let me try to think through what I, what I want to what I want to do to try to finish this puzzle. Having gotten that paradox, I still need to understand it a bit better, and so I just want to take a moment. What if both cauldrons are in this room? I still think it's the case that this is going to take me to the paradox because I think there isn't a cauldron over in the blue world right now anywhere. It does still bring me to the paradox. Okay. So I think I would need the persistent cauldron in that room in the blue world? Or would it just have to be anywhere in the blue world? Well, it kind of is anywhere in the blue world. Hmm. Oh, I think maybe I get it. It's the fact that in the blue world, there are no call stacks that have this room in it. And so, there were no active call stacks with that room in the blue world, I think is the, the gist of it. And so, if I, in the blue world, now have this in one of the active stack frames, then from the red world, I should be able to go into here and hop across. Yes. Now, is that ever useful to me? Uh, presumably, it will be. Um, I'm not sure exactly how just yet. Um, yeah, for the moment. Actually, yeah, the blue world still has that in the call stack. Okay, here's another interesting question. If I go into the blue world... 
Oh, the only way I can take this out is by popping out of the call stack in the blue world. Right. Okay, well, let's do that for now, but let's remember that that's a thing that we can do in the future, and so maybe that's the key of what I need to do at the end somehow. Okay, um, let me try to do my chest duplication and everything that I did before to get up a layer. Oh! Why did that just happen? I guess in the blue world... Hmm. I think I understand how I just got into the paradox, and so I just want to show it off. I brought the persistent cauldron in, in the blue world. And then... Oops. Uh, that's fine. And then... I brought it in here in the red world. And I can go back and forth, and that's fine. Uh, but then the thing that I accidentally did was I took it back out in the red world. And so now, if I were to hop into this cauldron, it would try to take me to the blue world, which is inside this room, and hop out of the cauldron, but the cauldron's not there. And so that's the reason that I got into the paradox. And so, if I want to take this out, the proper way to do it is from the blue side in order to get rid of the blue call stack um, that had the cauldron there. So in any case, that's what's going on. I kind of needed to understand that to understand all the paradoxical things that can happen. And now that also, I guess, potentially gives me ideas of things I can do. And yeah, I guess I actually do want to play with that for a minute. Which is... If I put this cauldron in here on the blue world side, so I've got a blue call stack that goes there. Um, man, I can do all kinds of weird things now. For example, I can now go lots of layers deep on the blue side where I can pop out of this chest. Uh, which is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know how interesting that is. <laughs> I guess only kind of. Let's see. And then, if I bring the chest back. So I'm lots of layers deep there on the blue side. And so if I ever try to pop on the blue side... I will come out of that chest, but that chest is going to have to be in that in its own room on the blue side. That's probably not useful to me. Um, that is probably antithetical to what I'm trying to accomplish. In fact, I'm curious. If I do try to pop out of here on the blue side now, I end up in a different paradox room. And so this is the tried to pop out of a chest but the chest that you're popping out of is no longer there style paradox room. And this is specifically designed to make it so that I can't really carry objects across here. Um, I'm curious to see where this takes me. Uh, it takes me into a place with a air current. Great. Um, and that's kind of the only thing here. Let's check out what's inside this chest. Seems like I just need to bring the air current here and I can get to that chest. So that's straightforward enough. Um, I think it will be more valuable to go this way for some reason. And then I want to pick up the air current maker and use it to get up here. We'll go ahead and take a peek at what's in this chest, but I'll probably just pop back out of it. A persistent air current thingy. Okay, neat. But let's take this chest. Hmm. I feel like I need to bring a chest into this chest. Yeah, and this room can be reproduced, right? So if I bring this back out to this level, then I think... Oh, that's this chest. Which one is this chest? I left my only air current thingy. Okay, so I did leave the air current thingy behind because it was the only one. I needed to take it across universes is what I needed to do. 
Okay. Poop. Do I remember how to get back to this paradox level to try to solve this? <laughs> I want to try to solve something today, <laughs> but there are too many things. Um, I think I could solve this one. Yeah. Newsflash, this game can be frustrating. I was trying to get back into this paradox world. No, I want to be... I want to stay down here. And I ended up in the wrong paradox world, and I know why I did it now after the fact, but... Uh, it's just tiring. Okay, so... I am one level deep in the call stack over there. Uh, yeah, so blue has a call stack that's here. And so now I want to bring the persistent chest right over to Blue Universe and go down through it. I guess probably once is probably good enough. And then I want to take the persistent chest back out and go over to Blue Universe and try to pop, and this will get me to the paradox that I was trying to solve. So... This is a room that produces... Uh, the exit room. And this is a room that has a non-persistent air blower. And so the question becomes... Do I want to take the room over here, or do I want to take the air blower over there? I need a cauldron to go sideways at some point. The air blower is still over there, yeah. So what I want to do is bring the cauldron into here so that I can fetch the air blower and then put it back. So I want to fetch the air blower. So here I am in green universe. I'll bring it to Magenta Universe. I'll go fetch this object. And I guess I need to leave both of these objects over there. So let's leave this object in Green Universe. And let's leave this object in Green Universe. And now I can take this cauldron back out. There we go. And... Do I want to uh, go get another copy of Exit Room? I think the fact that I'm able to suggests that it will be useful to do so in the puzzle. Uh, so let's go get another copy of Exit Room so I can bring a copy of Exit Room into Exit Room. Is that what I want to do? Or do I want to bring the cauldron into Exit Room? Hmm... I think what I want to do... Yeah, let's go get another copy in case it helps me. So, bring the air blower over here temporarily. Grab another copy of Exit Room. Store it over here with that copy of Exit Room. Put this back in here. Okay. And so, and for good measure, why don't I bring uh, Exit Room Producing Room also over here. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so now... No, now I want to bring... I guess, does it matter which side? I don't think it matters which side. So yeah, let's bring one of the exit rooms over here. And the cauldron down into it, and then I still have access to a bunch of resources, right? So I'm over here in Purple Universe, and I still have access to a bunch of resources over here, which seems like it's going to be valuable to me. So what is the first resource that I want to grab out of there in order to try to go up the steps? I guess the bigger picture is, what do I need to do? I need to use the air blower. I've got two different air blowers. And... 
I think I need to move the persistent air blower up in universe purple and then somehow go back to universe green or something. So I think I'm going to need an exit room also in universe green. Uh, which I have. But then I also need to bring the air blower. So... Yeah, let's bring the air blower. Oh gosh, there's not enough floor space here. Okay, let's bring the air blower over here. And let's bring the exit room producing room over here. Uh, and then let's get into the exit room on the green side. Okay, and so now with green and purple, um, let's see. How do I want to do this? The cauldron allows me to go sideways across universes. That thing is going to persist. And so I think if I ride this up here, this is the only one that I have in the other universe right now. Um, so that's probably not what I want, but I could bring the other one to the other universe. Uh, let's see. So if I pick this up and bring it over here, then I could ride this up here, and I could ride this up here. And now I have a cauldron here, and I should be able to get back just fine up here. And so what would I want next? So now I have a cauldron to here, but what I would love to do is pick up uh, one of... I would like to pick up the non-persistent thingy to bring along. So is that possible to do? There's only one non-persistent thingy in the world. Um, what if I do this in the opposite order? So what if I throw this back down? Oh gosh, am I going to be able to pick that up? I think so. Yes, okay. So what if I take this up here, and this up here, and I hop over this way. And... Right, this is an exit room box, which would allow me to go back down to the bottom to get the persistent thingy again. That's a very valuable item. Yeah, so what if I brought this up here? Oh, is this what I want to do? I think this is what I want to do. And then this here. And then, is this the exit room or the exit producing room? This is the exit room producing room, isn't it? Crap. I wish this were the exit room. Um, but that's okay, I can get an exit room. <gasps> oh no, I just lost my cauldron. <sighs> Silly Brian. I got so far. Oh no, I didn't lose the cauldron. I can still get it. Okay. Okay, so now let's go get another exit room because I need it. Except for I can't do that like this. What I need to do is first stash this over here. Then I can bring this into here. Oh boy, grab this. Use it to go get a copy of the exit room. Stash the exit room over here. So I've got a copy of exit room in purple. Stash this back in here. Uh, 
Now I can pop back out of here. And so now I can go grab my blower. Let's go grab the blower. And let's set it down right here. And now I can go ahead and blow both. I don't even need that right now. Uh, but what I do need is my copy of Exit World, which is here. And now I'm going down, but I'm about to pop back up. That's fine. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to bring it back up here. And that is going to get me to the exit. Can I jump to the exit from the bottom there? I am fairly certain that that is a height I can jump to. So I think I can take nothing and fall down here and jump to the exit. Yes. Okay, at least I solved one of the at least two paradox rooms that we know is available from drop. I still need to solve drop. It's possible to solve a different paradox that's inside drop, one presumes. And I think that's probably enough for the day. I feel like I could get farther if I diagram some of these on paper. I still have not done that because if I do that, it will be difficult to do on video. I guess I could like try to take snapshots, like photographs of what I've done on paper and then insert them into the video at critical times or something. I'm worrying that this is going to become like a less watchable series. I'm still enjoying playing, but yeah, not sure the best way to move forward. And I'm recording these way ahead, but maybe I'll just stop and let people catch up and try to get some feedback about how I should do it. I don't know. In any case, I hope as always that you guys are having a great day. And I hope to see you again in more Recursed with Brian. Bye-bye.